Unlike dogs or other animals, who can go on to live fulfilling lives after losing a limb, cows, who could weigh up to hundreds of kgs, aren't able to support their body weight on three legs. The only option for many is prosthetic limbs. Sonia of the Jaipur Foot, who has been working to create prosthetics for cows for over a year, says that most injuries occur in road accidents. Uh, road traffic accidents. Mostly in India, it's on the road. In other words, these life-threatening injuries are often preventable with caution and awareness, which, Sonia says, is lacking. She also notes the disparity in how, in India, people in need often don't have access to prosthetics, much less animals. In India, there are so many humans that don't get the limbs they're supposed to be getting, so... She's been making prosthetics for cows for the past year, ever since a neighbor came to her and asked if she could make a prosthetic for his injured cow due to her experience working with human prosthetics. Ever since, she's been working to help amputee cows walk again. He really loved his cow and I didn't know how to make it, so I kept telling him, I don't know. He's like, no, no, you have to. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll do whatever I can. It's not going to work, but then it worked. So then, so then because he got his cow's limb made, he uh, gave my number to a few of his friends who had cow sheds, mm -hmm. who had amputee cows. Atul Sareen, founder of WAG, connected with Asanya through Team Amukare and Shishla Jain, and they have been eager to meet in Goa to create prosthetics for WAG's cows ever since. Hello, Trishna. <laughs> thank you, thank you for being the one who is the main reason for us to do this. Thank you. She has a limb because of you. You and take the uh, limb also. All at uh, Team Amuke, who have been amazing. Jai Mohanji. <laughs> and Ashok Bhai. And Ashok Bhai. That, yes. <laughs> and as you can see, for the first time in Goa, uh, Sanya has shown us how to make these limbs. So thank you very much. And of course, the blessings of Baba as well. On August 30th, Sanya arrived in Goa with custom-made prosthetics. For the first time in Goa's history, cows who have been injured in road accidents or born with disabilities are able to walk again. She worked with Welfare for Animals in Goa, who have been taking in injured and abandoned cows in their Gaushala for over a decade. Until now, the only solution available for a cow with a broken, fractured, or lost leg was to bandage it and hope for the best. First, Lily was fitted. In addition to providing the prosthetics for WAG, Sanya also explained her process, showing the Welfare for Animals in Goa staff how to apply a prosthetic and correctly measure a cow's limb so more prosthetics can be made in the future. So uh, we first take the cast, we take a measurement, uh, we make a mold out of the cast we take, we do some anatomical modifications on that mold and then we fabricate a limb which is completely waterproof. Although at first she was resistant to the prosthetic, after a few short minutes Lily had adjusted to it and it was like it had always been there. So cows may throw little tantrums but they will understand the limb better than any other animal. After the success of Lily's prosthetic, Lily has a new leg. She has a new because leg. Has a Cece was also fitted with the prosthetic. So this little uh, sweet little Jersey calf is called Cece, and uh, she was found on the streets uh, wobbling around. And she's born. We think she's born with this deformity, and it would have been a matter of weeks where she would have died because. Uh, you know, it would have caused wounds, and even for the future, you know, she could get up to 500 kilos, and uh, she would definitely not be able to support herself. In other words, this procedure is saving lives. In recent years, Goshalas across India have started to produce prosthetic limbs for their rescue cows. And this single event could lead to increased awareness about the importance of prosthetic limbs for cows. More awareness, I think more on social media platform we have to create the awareness because there are a lot of people who want to help but don't know how to help. They don't know who to call, they don't know how to call and how to access, get access to the prosthetics. Awareness is the only way to make a change.